Hey everybody, uh, let me know how I sound. How is the background music? Is it too loud, too quiet? Just let me know. I am getting uh, the last stuff set up. I'm pouring myself a nice little tea and we're gonna get hooking in just a little bit. Um, hi everybody, hi chat. I'm sorry we're doing this on a weird day. I know it's a Wednesday uh, and most people expected a Thursday. Uh, I did mention it last live stream, but I just, uh, well, I guess I'll explain it more when we get started. But yeah, let me know how I sound. Be on soon. Oh, in the meantime, uh, here is, uh, oh, cool, the chat is working too. In the meantime, as I go get my tea set up, here is Jimbo. Look at how cute that boy is. Oh my God. Okay, be on soon. All right. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot my needle. Okay. Ready, Jimbo? <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How are you? How are you doing on a Wednesday? I know it's a weird day for a live stream, at least as far as uh, 
as we've done in the past. Just make sure the audio is working. Yeah, it looks good to me. Hopefully the background music isn't too loud. I guess I'll turn it down a little bit because it looks like it's clipping, but. Oh, there's a squirrel. I just heard a squirrel. Um, hi everybody, welcome to the stream. Today, we're gonna be finishing up our gigantic dragon that we've been working on for the past few live streams. He's almost done. We just need to give him, or her, them, we just need to give them a uh, finish up their tail, so on the feet, and then add our spikes on the back. And if we do get finished with this in today's stream uh, and have some extra time left over, um, I've got a few other work in progresses uh, that I'd like to finish. So we're gonna be going today till uh, 6 p.m. That's gonna be around three hours, um, so buckle up grab some yarn and uh, let's crochet some stuff. Yeah, chat is acting funky as it like to do, which is always frustrating. I did look into other options. I didn't find anything too great, so. Yeah, unfortunately this uh, is what we're stuck with. So hopefully it starts to show up eventually. Sometimes it does, you know how it goes. Um, okay, uh, what was the other stuff that I want to say? Oh yeah, if you want to crochet with me, um, here's what you're gonna need. The first thing is I'm crocheting with all blanket weight yarn today, so it's a little bit larger of yarn. Um, it's like pretty chunky. Because of that, we're using a pretty large crochet hook, a size, um, where is it? Right here, eight millimeter crochet hook. You can't see it, so I don't know why I'm holding up there. Uh, and then you'll need some scissors, a darning needle, uh, and then some wire. You might want some wire for uh, putting into your piece so that it can be movable and you can like make its arms move in different directions and stuff. Hey, the chat's working. That's kind of cool. Uh, and the crochet pattern is available right here, right there. Clubcrochet.com slash dragon. That's where I have the crochet tutorial. Um, there's a video tutorial and a uh, PDF tutorial, just real quick. Look at this adorable cat again. Gosh, he's so cute. I just can't, I just can't stop looking up. He's just so cute. Um, hopefully Jumbo doesn't distract us too much because that is the reason we didn't finish up this guy last live stream, but I think we'll be all right. Um, what else did I want to mention? Um, oh man, okay, so every time I switch streams is when the chat gets messed uh, it switch screens rather is when the chat gets messed up. So sorry about that. Uh, I'll try not to switch screens too much or I won't uh, because everybody wants to see Jimbo and that's completely understandable. <laughs> um, okay. What else did I want to mention today? Um, I guess, uh, how to support this channel if you're interested. So if you like what's going on here and you'd like to uh, support this channel, there are a few different ways you can do so. The first is by purchasing, uh, uh, well, the first free way is by liking and subscribing down below. Just like this video if you can. Um, we're trying to get to 250 likes today. I don't know if we're gonna get there. The last two videos didn't get to 250 likes, so I might just like, I don't know. Hopefully this does get there, but if not, I might do a giveaway anyhow next live stream. We'll see. Um, uh, hello, hello chat. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, Samantha. Hey, Samantha, how are you doing, by the way? Um, and hello to Cooper, our moderator today. Uh, thank you for all your help, Cooper. Um, other ways you can help support this channel. If you want to help support monetarily, the best way to support is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the full library of tutorials. I add new ones in every single month and each one has a video tutorial and PDF uh, and an interactive uh, digital pattern as well. So you can have check marks and time codes to keep track of your progress. Memberships start at only $5 a month. You can even get a free trial and it is by far the best way to support this channel. Um, and yeah, it would be really cool. You can also purchase merch and kits and stuff like that in the store. Uh, we have brand new, we don't have the mugs in the shop yet because I got, I, I was too lazy and I didn't put them in the shop, but we have these Jimbo logo 
or like little illustrations that we've had made. Uh, we have this as a t-shirt and it will soon be a uh, stickers available. Uh oh, the beast is stirring. I can see him. I totally forgot to stir this. Whoops. Yeah, I just said stir twice in two different ways. That's funny. Um, <laughs> what else do I want to say? Um, I guess that's about it. What are you guys working on today? What is everybody making? Um, as far as I got in my pattern, let's look at where we're at in the pattern and look at where the check marks. The good thing about the online pattern is it saves, uh, it's kind of hard to see because the lighting, but it saves the check marks uh, for your progress so you can keep track of where you're at. So, um, I believe I'm on around 27. Hey, bud. Uh-oh. He sees a toy and he wants to play with it. Come on up, bud. Come on. You can sit up here for a sec. Come here. Yeah, go. Oh. oh, wow. If you don't say. All right, buddy. You can sit right here for a sec while we figure out where we're at. Um, okay, so let's count our stitches around. What do you think about that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we're at twelve stitches around. So I believe we're on round twenty-nine, I think. Thank you. Jimbo's being very sweet and giving kisses and not biting, which is very nice of you. Um, yeah, it looks like we have one more stitch around. Uh, and then we can sew on the legs. So hopefully we can do this with Jimbo on our lap, but we're gonna, we'll see. We'll see how that far that goes. What animal has a gray fluffy belly? Well, not Jimbo. Jimbo's got a very white fluffy belly, but I don't know, gee, uh, koalas? Koalas have gray fluffy bellies, I believe. Hi, bud. Yes, it looks very interesting and very, yep, yep. It's not a toy though. No, it's not a toy though. Shout out to all you cat owners out there that also try to crochet with a cat. I know how difficult it can be. Oh, oh, and of course, of course, I totally forgot about this. If you like what's going on here and you'd like to tip you absolutely can um, by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip and anybody that supports, are you getting up? Because I need to get up too. Anybody that supports gets something added to the tip cam right there. We've got a few different things. So uh, we've gotten the support. So thank you so much, Cooper. Uh, and I'm sorry I didn't catch it right away. But let's add something to the background for Cooper. Now, I don't know if you can hear me when I switch cameras here. So, Fingers crossed. I'm gonna add something to the background. Um, there are a few different places that you can uh, get something added to the background. So if you support for uh, $10 or more, we'll add you to the tree, which is not done yet. Shout out to Papa Loops, who is working on a metal tree to add there. But let's go ahead and add a bonimal or a burb there for Cooper. Hello. Mice yet. So we'll go ahead and add this. There we go. A little mouse added. Okay, and Jimbo is now running into our camera, which is pretty expected. He keeps headbutting everything. He's a very headbutty kind of cat. Hi. Are we gonna have to kick you out? Maybe, he says, maybe. He's stirring. Uh, we got him at the end of his nap, which is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna keep yelling? Or you gonna be a chill boy? <laughs> no, I'm gonna yell. Can you hear him meowing? 
Jimbo, can they hear you? Oh, what'd you see? He sees a bird or something out there. Uh, what did I have for dinner tonight? I actually haven't had dinner yet because it is only 3.15 for me. Um, I'm going to be getting, uh, I think I'm going to go get some Mexican food after this. Uh, I've been craving that all day. So I think that is going to be my treat after this. I think so. What hook am I using? I'm using a size eight millimeter crochet hook, uh, just some generic plastic one, because that's the only one I had. Um, I didn't have any metal hooks or anything. And I figured, eh, instead of buying a whole like fancy crochet hook for this project, I'd rather just use what I had at hand. Yeah, he's pretty loud. Yeah, he is pretty loud. What day will your stream be next week? Next week we'll be back on Thursdays. Uh, next week's live stream, hold on, I have a calendar. If I can see it. Yeah, next week live stream is gonna be a, oh, that's right, we're gonna be making a treasure chest next week. Um, because I really wanna make another treasure chest, it's been a while. So I really thought a treasure chest would be a lot of fun. So yeah, next week we'll be making a treasure chest. What was that, bud? garbled Tata hey how are you doing hope you're having a great day what's everybody working on today I saw someone said they were working on a sweater I think and it looks like G is making well maybe they're making crochet koala squish mellows a squish mellow is an interesting thing. I wonder how you would even make a squishmallow because you need like really squishy yarn. Maybe if you like filled it, stuffed it with like memory foam. Maybe. Jimbo says maybe. He's rolling around. He's so cute, but you can't see him. But he is rolling around a lot right now. Um, I believe this is supposed to be decreased, so we'll decrease here and keep track of our progress. Oh, actually that's gonna be the end of round 30. We can sew on, I'm gonna start sewing on the feet now. Now, I don't know if you remember, but we did end up accidentally giving our uh, our dragon a little bit bigger of a belly than we were expecting. So, they're, prag they're Pragers. Pragers. Ooh, Samantha's making a cottage core mosaic blanket and granny square blanket and a half double crochet blanket. Whew, you've got some serious work ahead of you. That's crazy. Okay. Stop looking at this like it's a toy. It is not a toy, my dude. Although it definitely looks like a toy. Jimbo is very vocal, it's cute. I have been making an octopus for preemie babies. Oh, very cute, Christine. Super solid last name, too. From one uh, Lewis to another. You're spelling it wrong, but still. We've already started dropping the crochet needle. Oh, I forgot I need stuffing also. Man, could I be any less prepared? Yeah, you're right, I could be. Yeah. On set. What? What? No. Come in here. Do you want to lay in your bed? No? Okay. Well, I, I can't play right now. He always wants to play. It's like he's either asleep or he wants to play. <laughs> Have I tried mosaic crochet? I don't think I have actually. Ooh. Actually, we gotta keep that back so it's not in camera. Um, oh my gosh, he's just rubbing his face all over my feet right now. And now he's biting my feet, which is super great. Ow, <laughs> don't. As you can tell, I'm a very uh, strict cat dad. No, don't, stop, ouch. <laughs> Stop. Okay, we're gonna do 
I think right here is a pretty good spot for the feet, for the back feet. Just far enough so the tail is like, yeah, I think that's a good spot. And we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna have to guess here, Jimbo. Start there, move up maybe. And we'll just try to make sure that both the feet are sewn on like somewhat in the same location. Are you bumping the camera now? Man, you are starved for attention. Wow. Okay, okay. Oh my God, stop. He's going crazy. You are too. What a wild boy. Uh, am I almost done? Am I keeping this dragon? Uh, two very good questions. I am almost done. I would say we're we're getting pretty freaking close to being done. Am I keeping it? I mean, heck yeah. I, I don't, I'm not giving this to anybody. This is my dragon. Hmm. Unless I can't find the right place to sew this together in. And next week we'll be doing, um, next week we'll be also crocheting, uh, we'll be doing a, a treasure chest in the light box. So we're going to go back to the light box next week. So back to our normal, our normal dealio. And I'm going to keep it at the same time, by the way, it's going to be 3 PM Pacific standard time. So, you know, same as normal. And then we might do some weird stuff later this month also uh someone said how have i been since doing since jules has been gone so jules is in san francisco right now doing uh she's rehearsing for a show um merrily we roll along by the way i know like the past few weeks i've been like what is the name of that show I'm, it's merrily we roll along i figured it out i didn't even have to ask her I just had to think about it for a second. Uh, and <laughs> um, it's like a Songheim show. One, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four. Wait, no, just three. One, two, three. Okay, so we're just gonna go like that. Um, it's like a not a very well known Songheim show and has uh, a lot of dancing and stuff in it. So right now she's doing dancing classes um, but how have I been? I've been good. Um, I miss her, obviously. Like, yeah. Uh, and, but it is kind of nice having the house to myself, except for Jimbo um, and Phoebe. <laughs> uh, the big thing that I've noticed is I'm a lot louder. Like I blast music and, I, and I've been like watching TV really, really loud and stuff because I know that she's not here to accidentally wake up or bother. And uh, yeah, I just, I really like music being played throughout the house. So I usually start the morning by like just jamming, which has been pretty nice. That's been kind of cool. But uh, I'd give that up in a heartbeat to hang out with Jules again. Because I miss her. Everyone liked the video. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree with that. What kind of dance? Uh, you know, I don't really know. I think it's like theater dance. You know, I think it's like dancing for the show. So I don't think it's necessarily like dance dance. I mean, I don't know what that really means. Um, but yeah, it's not like, not like a detailed dance. It's more like a choreographed, um, show dance show dance i don't something like that i don't know i don't know how to explain it <laughs> this dragon absolutely does need a layer uh i'm thinking maybe like guarding that yarn right there like sitting on top of that yarn maybe might be good especially because that looks like a layer a bit 
So this foot, we got one foot sewn on. We're sewn on the second one now. It looks like that's probably a pretty good position. What do you think, bud? Wow, you are very awake right now. I was really hoping you'd be asleep all day long. Ensemble. Ensemble. Um, yeah, and there's a lot of singing in it. She said yesterday they were doing a, uh, a, uh, their first like full read through of the show and she sang one of her, one of her solos and she made the uh, artistic director cry like in a good way so that's a good sign <laughs> that means she's doing good which honestly i'm not that surprised at all jules has an insane singing voice like the best singing voice I wish, uh, I wish you could experience it. If you're in San Francisco and want to go see Merrily Me, we roll along in sep or in April. Uh, you absolutely should. You can see Jules singing, and it'll be very cool. Can you have my email address again? Yes, it's just Louis at clubcrochet.com. Pretty easy. L O U I E at clubcrochet.com. Down here, I think I'm gonna go up a little bit, angled. I know it's kind of hard to see with the purple, but thank you, Cooper. Uh, you're gonna go out on a limb here, but I'm guessing Jules sings soprano. I do believe, I believe so. I am not like well versed on the difference between, you know, baritone soprano and stuff, but that sounds right to me. Sounds right to me. Before she left, we went to go to a um, a bar near our place, and uh, we were just like walking by it, and they were doing karaoke. And she was like, "Oh, can we do karaoke?" And I was like, "Uh, yeah, for sure." When I say we, I mean she do karaoke <laughs> because I cannot sing very well at all. Um, so we went in. She did a song. The crowd, the the bar, like, went crazy when she sang a song. I think she sang, um, I'm, I'm a survivor or something like that. And then, and then, she, and then I was like, I love watching her do karaoke because it's just the coolest thing ever. I mean, it's always really cool when you get to see your partner like do something that they're really really good at. So that was really cool. Uh, and then after that, she was, I said, do another one. She said, I'm not going to do another one unless you do a song. So I had to do a song. I did, um, what's that song from, what is that song from, uh, what, uh, from, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? The one that's like, um, I'm a man of constant sorrow because I knew how it went and it's very easy. So I did that song and the bar seemed to enjoy it. But then she did, what song did she do, bud? Yeah? Hey, over here. No, 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 don't look at the yarn. Look, look over there. No, look over here because there's no yarn over there. Yeah, that good boy. Um, she did a uh, uh, sweet, not sweet Caroline. Um, The one that's like, oh man, I'm having a brain fart. I'll remember it. Don't bite that. Please stop playing with the yarn. I'll remember, I'll think about it. I, I can't remember what the name of the song is. So 
Starts with an S. <laughs> we need Club Crochet the musical. Heck yeah, we do. A bunch of crocheted puppets singing. Literally my dream. Actually what I dream about constantly. I had a friend over this weekend and he was like, uh, we were talking about concerts and I told him like, when I go to concerts, I have this really bad problem where I start just thinking really like about random stuff and I don't pay attention as well as I should to the show at hand. And I don't know why, but there's just something about concerts that make me like really think a lot. And he goes like, well, well what kind of stuff do you think about? And I was like, usually like puppets, how to make puppets. <laughs> And he was like, what? I was like, I don't know why, but like when I really sit there and I'm like, I don't, for some reason I just really like to think about like, okay, if I wanted to make a puppet and its eyes, and I wanted its eyes to blink, how would the mechanism work inside the head? And, and what kind of tricks could I use to make it so like, I can make this puppet blink with a foot pedal and stuff like that. So that is just, I don't know. I don't know why I brought that up, but it's, I thought it was very funny. And it is absolutely true. So Jules can handle the music and I'll handle the puppet tree. I've got like three songs we can sing together. That's enough. She can figure out the rest of them. Oh, the cast for Merrily We Roll Along was announced today and tickets are now available for anyone who's interested in buying one. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you for doing a shout out like that. That's super cool. Okay, that's both feet added. I'll just double knot these together, I think. Oh, I messed this part up, hold on. Don't, 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 don't. Hey. Relax. We are not, we're not fighting. Man, his claws are so sharp right now. Stop it. Don't, don't. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do this. I guess they can get one out of here. All right. It's so difficult. Look at me. I'm like crocheting the craziest, weirdest way ever. One. And then we'll just double knot this and Jimbo will be a good boy. We're gonna put our darning needle on the computer. We're not gonna forget about it, are we? Okay, feet are sewn on. Uh, I can't forget that, well, I guess there's one in the neck. I gotta do a wire for the tail also, which means eventually we're gonna have to get up, Jimbo. And I'm sorry about that. I preemptively apologize for my mis... misgressions, mis is that the right word? Jimbo always wants some attention. You can't grab it? Okay. How about up here? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm gonna stuff our, our guy up a little bit. And then we can keep crocheting. Oh cool, thank you, Samantha. I'll I'll check that email when I get when I'm done with the stream. And after dinner probably. Uh, is there something different where you're live streaming on different days now? Oh yeah, so the reason I'm streaming on Wednesday today, uh, well, for a few reasons. First off, 
I originally wanted to make this like a work in progress live. So work in progress Wednesday, you know, it's an alliteration. So I just, that was the initial reasoning. Um, uh, but the main reason now is that my cousin asked me to babysit his kids tomorrow night, starting at three. And so I was already kind of planning on doing this today. So I was like, and I've never been asked to babysit before. This would be the first time I babysit. So I was like, I'm kind of excited about it. So I, yeah, I'm, I, I don't know. I was like, cool. Yeah, I can babysit. I'm doing, I'm, I'm, got, I, I'm do, doing my live stream that day. So kind of funny. Oh, cool. It was about moderators. Good to know. Thanks, Samantha. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Now I'm on to round 31. So we'll go just all single crochets here. Our tail's almost done though. Oops, I forgot. I left my the bag in my tea for the past like half an hour now. That's gonna be some strong tea. Uh, Emerald Turtle, do you, I think I'll continue this e, this camera setup for future live streams? Just curious. You know what? Maybe. Um, why don't we do a poll and ask? Uh, what is your favorite type of stream so far? That's what we're going to ask. We're going to say... Um, uh, What should we call this kind of style? Like maybe like the chill. Well, well, we'll do like light box crochet along. That's gonna be the one like in a light box. We'll do um uh uh fire. We'll call it fireplace crochet along. And then we'll say light box design along. Cool. All right, so I just asked, let me know what you think. Um, I'm very curious to see what, what your curious, or what your favorite is called, or what your favorite is. Okay, back to this. How do I do polls on a live stream? There's like a little plus icon for me that I can use to make a poll. Ooh, okay. Marina asks, they says they have they need to make a toothless dragon, like the one from uh, How to Train Your Dragon, and uh, and a stitch from Lilo and Stitch for their 18-year-old daughter who still loves those characters. Do I have any tips, resources? Thanks. I would suggest to you uh, for those patterns specifically is to look for a pattern that's written already, just because there's probably a lot of those kind of patterns out there, um, especially the toothless and... Uh, and um, and, and Stitch, like Disney characters and stuff. I do know um, Ohana Crafts uh, on Instagram is a, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of theirs. They're uh, they're like a crochet friend of mine. Um, they did a the taper pattern in last year's Earth Day crochet along. I think they have a pretty cute uh, toothless crochet pattern that would be probably pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think, I think, that might be a good source. I don't know though. Honestly, also just check Etsy or Ravelry um, for crochet patterns. I don't have one uh, personally, but um, there's probably a lot on both of those websites.
That's totally true, Hannah. That is totally true. But I'm total. I'm still curious. You know, like how many people in this live stream are gonna say the light box ones? And it's pretty. I mean, there hasn't been very many votes yet, so. But it's pretty split. So this is gonna be our decrease round. Okay. All right, so we just finished round 32. Yeah, Ravelry is a great place to find patterns. I've heard people use Ribbler. I don't really like Ribbler personally, but other people do. And I know there's a lot of crocheters on there. Um, I probably should get my patterns on Ribbler eventually, but so far I've been like, eh, eventually maybe. How can you do polls on your own live streams? I honestly, I have no idea. Um, I, I, if I were you, Samantha, I would just Google that. Um, for me, there's a little icon under the, uh, chat where it says for me to like say something that has a little plus icon and that's what I use. Uh, but it might be something that like gets unlocked or something after a certain amount of s subscribers. I don't really know though. You know, I have, I haven't a clue. All right. This is our round of just single crochets. We've got like, we got a few more rounds here of just crocheting around till we make a tail. And I'm pretty sure I remember the gist of it. It is getting more and more difficult to crochet though because it's just so big. It's hard to like spin them around. Oh, hey, Long Longs, how you doing? Uh, okay, well, welcome. Yeah, doing a different timing today. I had a feeling we might get some people in here that uh, that aren't normal, aren't, aren't the usual group because of the different timing, but it's good to know that that's kind of true. Sayland Dog Pals. You know what? I need to zoom in here because I can like, I got bad eyes. There we go. Jimbo, you're supposed to go in your bed. We got the cat cam there and there's no cat. Messed up, man. Messed up. Uh, do I have any tips for sewing in the eyes on crocheted animals? Uh, I usually use... Um, uh, the, 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 the safety eyes, which don't really need to be sewn on inside the um, character to stay in. Uh, I mean, it depends. Sometimes the eyes are too small for the thing, so then you do have to sew it in. But um, uh, my tip is use safety eyes if you can. Uh, other tips, you can sew around the inside. So like the eyes have like, a, so there's like a top, top for the eye, and then there's like this long, bit right there that's like jagged. You can sew around these bits a little bit and tie it together, but it's never gonna be as um, secure as if you use the backing of the safety eye. Like that, it the backing of the safety eye is designed for this, so that's probably gonna be your best bet. Oh, bonjour, Finu. Ça va? Merci beaucoup. Mon français, c'est mal? Pas bon. Mais je peux parler un peu. Hi. Yeah. Are we yelling? Yeah. 
Whew. Okay, this is getting big. We should, uh, I should count this round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. What? Would you stop yelling at me? Come here. You can sit on my lap, or you can sit on your throne. Or you can sit right there and yell at me. Well, I, I, I'm sorry, we cannot play right now. I know you really want to. We're gonna drink tea out of a mug with your face on it. I know, it's kind of like Jimbo juice. Ew, that sounds gross. Yeah. C'est difficile, Fino? Bottom, I forgot to stir it. <laughs> Marina, Marina's cats can hear you. Yeah, you want to say hi to Marina's cats? Say hi. Well, that's pretty close. Oh, it's okay, Clayton. Thanks for joining, Clayton, and and I hope you have a great day, and I hope things. Uh, Calm down a little bit and don't kick you while you're down. That's never fun. That's never easy. Oh, you, oh, Salen, you're asking like how to sew on eyes, like how to embroider eyes and stuff. Do you want pets or not? No, you just want to lick. Um. Uh, the best way to sew on eyes, I think, are like is just to embroider the best you can, uh, and then double knot on the inside. You you can use uh, felt though and a needle needle felting to uh, to like em to needle felt eyes on, which is really nice. Buddy, you're really distracting, and I don't even know who you're yelling at. Shat? Oh oh no, my cat's name is Jimbo. Jiminy. His name his name is actually Jiminy Cricket, but we just call him Jimbo. Don't we? Yeah. Hi Trish. From Saskatchewan. Whoa, cool. Um, alright, that was my decrease round, Jimbo. So now we have a round of just Eight single crochets. You really are, you are too much right now. This is why we're doing this in three parts, bud. We could have probably finished this whole dragon in just one part if it weren't for you being so cute and also a bit much. We're gonna mark our, where we're at in our rounds. While you Your cat's name is Pom Pom? That's cute. Well, I don't know if that is what your cat's name is, but that is a cute name for a cat, if that is your cat's name. Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah, that's a cute, that's a really cute name. Hey, relax. I've been learning Japanese recently, and sometimes I have a difficult time doing like French and Jap because I I only know English really. But I studied French for a long time in high school and college, and or I studied French for a long time in college, and then I studied uh, Japanese for a long time in high school, and now I'm restudying Japanese. So sometimes the words get mixed up in my head. So I wanted to say I wanted to read your thing that said. Um, 
Your cat's name is Pom Pom, and I wanted to say that it's really cute, but I couldn't think of how to say it in French, so I wanted to say kawaii desu ne, which means that's cute, isn't it? In Japanese. Look at this. Look at this dude. Can we hypnotize you? Wow. You're getting very sleepy. When I snap my fingers, you will go to sleep. Well, first you're gonna go to your chair and then you'll go to sleep. You're not, I said when, I said when I snap my fingers, you're gonna go into your chair and then go to sleep. Don't not want to listen. Abby, that's totally the vibe I'm trying to give off. Fireplace streams that are just cozy, welcoming, and, and just here to chill. And hopefully finish a project, if he'll let me. Mignon? Does that mean cute? I'm gonna guess that means cute. Yeah, crochet alongs will be back next uh, next week, and then um, and then the week after that. Actually, we're doing two crochet alongs in a row. Jimbo's munching on his foot right now. Uh, we're doing next week. We're doing a treasure chest crochet along, and then the week after that, we're gonna do a mini dragon crochet along because that pattern is gonna be out then. Um, and then after that, what are we gonna do after that? Hear that, Jimbo? I think we got a squirrel on the roof. Wait, seriously, what is that? Yeah, go check on it. it sounds like someone is. I might need to take a step away from the live stream for a second because it sounds like there's someone outside. But I don't think there is. It's probably just a cat or a, a squirrel. Anyhow. You threw yarn in my window. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, I'm assuming it's hard to do a design along without your desk and stuff. So how about crochet alongs in the chair and design alongs in the light box if possible? I do like that idea. There's something about crocheting in this uh, in this chair that is like a little bit difficult, but also pretty fun. Um, it would be really hard to do a design along in this chair for sure. Two, three, hold on, I gotta count this. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay, so we're on track. We only have like six more rounds to go and they're gonna go pretty quick. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna stuff the tail. Um, I also think it's about time we get a wire to stuff the tail up, especially while Jimbo is not on my lap. Um, have I ever crocheted a train before? Uh, no, I haven't actually. I've never crocheted a train before. There's not a lot of things I haven't made, but that's one of them. Ari has a very interesting question. I'm gonna get back to that in a second. Grab some wire. I have this like extra long wire that we can use. Um, Akari said that their friend doesn't approve of their boyfriend and thinks that they're gonna break up and then threaten to punch them in the face if they talk about him again and, and then did that. I mean, it sounds like you have a bad friend. Let's start with that. But I don't know. 
Uh, it also sounds like... It sounds like your friend... Kind of wants the best for you. Yeah. But also, maybe they're jealous? I don't know. It sounds like a... Your friend has something to work through. Where'd, where'd the crochet hook go now, bud? There it is. Hey, go lay down. Please. I beg of you. Mon petit chef. Do I... Here. Here's what we'll do. We're gonna take this goblin. See the goblin? Do you like the goblin? Here, let's show them the goblin. Wow, cute little goblin. We're gonna toss it in your chair. Ready? 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 Go! <laughs> it totally worked! <laughs> oh boy. No, 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 stay there, stay there, stay there. Well, that was super cute while well, it lasted. Uh Yeah, yeah. I think I think the difficult thing is like I I can't crochet something this big in the light box. So if I ever make things this big, it has to be here. That's the first thing. Uh okay, wait. Let's put this wire in the real quick. I think I'm just going to bend the end of this wire a little bit. So that kind of makes a hook. So that way when I put it in, It'll be easy to put into the tail, but I can't pull it out. As easy, at least. Hopefully that works. Uh-oh. I'm already seeing that could be a problem. What is up, buddy? You are a wild little dude right now. Okay. I'm gonna stuff this up the tail and try not to go through any stitches. Okay. All right, we've got a wire in the tail now. It's stuffed a pretty good amount. It should bend. Yeah, that totally worked. So now we can bend the tail. Um, we do need a little bit more stuffing in the tail. Don't worry, bud. You don't have to be so rude. It's you don't have to be this rude. Could could I explain how to make a reel for Instagram? I mean, I can try. I will admit, I'm not that good at making reels for Instagram. I make them very different than I think a lot of people do. Um, but I can explain how my process for you. Um, my process is basically, I edit all of my reels outside of the actual Instagram app. So I build them in a program called After Effects or Adobe Premiere. <sighs> what is your deal today? There. Let's talk about making reels. Ow, for sunshine. And then, oh wow, you've got sharp nails right now. That's what's wrong. Um, so uh, yeah, I edit them, I usually edit them in After Effects and I usually do it backwards. So it depends on the reel that I'm making, but like if I'm making one that is a, like the last one we did with the cobalt, where I crochet a cobalt, I did a YouTube short that was that, um, but I also edited it as a Instagram reel. To do that, I found music on Instagram that I liked. I put it into, uh, I recorded it on my phone, the music. I put it into my program and then I edited it backwards. So I edited like the last two seconds of the video, then the next two seconds of the video and I cut it backwards like that. And it ended up being way easier to do and a good, pretty good process. Hey bud. You're being very disruptive. Look at these pits. See this hair? This is all coming from his armpit. Yeah, you. We call him his wings. Every every like month or so I have to trim his wings. Samantha thinks we should do a 
mosaic crochet along together. I think that sounds pretty cool, actually. I like that idea. Onyx says that they're making an axolotl from complicated knots, but you're trying to make it, make your own legs instead of the one she made. Wish you luck, because I've never done anything besides crocheting curly doll hair. Good luck. I will say, uh, I will say that I know complicated knots patterns are like extremely complicated. Those are, not, like she's not joking with that name, uh, complicated knots. They take a lot of effort. So, good luck. Uh, I saw one that she made recently for like a bearded dragon, and I was like, I won't make this. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna take me a week to make. Are you going in your bed? Go lay down. All right, back to this. Since we only got a few more rounds. I think we need to switch this song because I'm pretty sure I got a copyright for this one. Oh, let's see what the vote ended up being. Hey, that's pretty good. 73%. Wow, most people like crochet alongs over design alongs. That's interesting. 73% is pretty substantial. I think I'll ask that question again to the whole channel without doing it in a live stream so I could get like feedback outside of an actual live stream. Cause like Samantha said, like that's gonna, oh, I hear a squirrel. Wow, the squirrels are active today. I th but yeah, I think that'll affect the, the poll, you know, but yeah. Hello, Otto, how you doing? How's your Dave going? Decrease, decrease. And then I'm seeing crochets. Yeah, if I do a mosaic crochet along, we'll do that live during the, during it. I'd need to think about the mosaic crochet along and how that would work first though. Just get the wire a little bit further back. Tail's getting pretty long. Thanks, Samantha. I like this dragon too, it's pretty cool. Okay, just a few more rounds here, which is great because my arms are getting tired. Thanks, Judah. How you doing today, Judah? Ooh, jeepers, that's a cool idea. Make it flying. Like, actually, you know, make it hanging. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Onyx is like, I gotta go eat chicken. I can't talk like normal people. I need to munch on some chicken. Yes, this will this will be the last part for the dragon. We're gonna be moving on to other stuff next live stream. All right, last two rounds. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna get tail whipped here. If I'm not careful. Oh no, we were gonna put a squeaker in it. I totally forgot. I can't do it now. It's it's we're way too far. I can't get a squeaker up into the stomach. The tail is way too far. Shoot. I, t I actually totally forgot. Sorry about that. If you let me know before the stream started, I would have remembered, but yeah, it's too late now. And that's okay, you know, this guy's got enough features on him. We'll save the squeaker for next time. Next giant dragon. There probably will be another giant dragon, like let's be honest, right? Because this is too cool not to make another one. A tail, you want a tail squeaker? I honestly don't think a squeaker can fit. I mean, I'm gonna have to go back a few rounds to do that. I don't think it's worth it, honestly. Yeah, it'd be weird to have it in the tail. Plus, I couldn't even fit it in the tail right now. Um, I believe this... is our decrease round. Right here. Yeah, it'd be like it's farting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Little squeaks. I wish you guys could uh, smell how good it smells in this room too. Cause during these chill live streams, I light a candle back there and it just makes this whole room smell like a birthday cake. It's so good. This is the last round and then we can finish su stuffing the tail up a little bit so it closed and then we need to make the spikes along the back and then we'll be done at least with this dragon I'm gonna make a baby dragon I think too just because we got we got a little bit you know I, I don't want to I don't want to end too early Okay, cut the yarn, pull it through, pretty good. Okay, now we just need to stuff this last bit of the tail up. want me to do another truth or dare Akari okay later in the video I will maybe after the dragon because just in case and you're right you were very nice last time you asked me to take a break and you know what after the live stream I was like you know I regret not doing that dare that was he double dog dared me I mean I, that's not right you can't take a double dog dare not do it no 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 I'm not gonna go yet I said we'll be doing it till Around six, so we got a few more hours. It'll probably take another like half an hour to finish this, at least, and then we'll make something else. All right, it's so this tail closed though. The dragon's almost done though. This is pretty cool.
Okay. All right, check it out. As far as the main bits of the dragon, we are done. The wing is starting to bug me because the metal keeps poking out and I hate that. I really hate it. So we're gonna try to fix that. I don't know how, but we're gonna try. I think maybe if I bend it like down like that maybe, and it'll hide on the inside there. I don't know. No, that didn't work. All right. Pretty awesome though, not too bad. I do wish the wings were a little bit bigger, like this way, but not too bad all things considered. Uh, and then the neck, we can make the neck bend a little bit. We want it to be like that. So like more of an S shape. So we go up a little bit, like that, and then down a little bit, like that. There we go. Give us the shape we want. Next, uh, we just need to add on the spines along the back. So let's go ahead and get some of our other purple and get cooking. Okay. Where is the cat? Good question. He is staring outside. Here, I'll show you. I'll give you some cat cam. Ignore the messy room though. Wanna say hi? You see that? Where is he? Oh, where are you? Oh, there you are. There he is. He's just been sitting there staring out the window. See what it looks like when I do full screen. <laughs> like barely in the camera. Oops, I cleared out the chat by accident. Okay. Au revoir, finu. Sorry, I didn't see that until right now. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we could try to do the wings a little bit bigger, but. I don't know, I, I think because of the way I did like the mini Picos, I think it might be weird. I guess I could try though. I'm, I'm, a, I'm kind of afraid of messing it up, to be honest. Because I've never added length to the wings before and doing it with bulky yarn is kind of like, it's scary. All right, what the heck did I do with my there it is. All right. Spikes. Okay. Pretty long end here. Jeepers says trade offer. You give me your cat and I'll have to think about what to trade in return. Well, it better be a dang good trade because that thing is the most important thing in my life. So, a phoenix, dude, yes, a phoenix would be way cool. That would be way cool. No joke. Now here's gonna be the annoying part, is making these 
spikes with this fluffy yarn is like way harder than it needs to be. But we got one spike done. I'll take some chicken onyx. Send it over my way. Trash panda. A well-trained trash panda or just like a panda you found in the trash because big difference, big difference. What size eyes did I use? For the dragon, I used, uh, I believe we used 12 millimeter size eyes. And then I used just a little bit of white yarn to give it that, to give the uh, eye some, some uh, color. I mean, Jules is, is, is also obviously the most important thing in my life. But as far as like animals go, I mean, yeah, I, I'm not gonna give you jewels either, though. But I don't think legally I can trade jewels. I I don't know about the legality of trading cats. I would assume that you could trade cats. Yeah, that's a great question, Hannah. What kind of what kind of chicken are we working with here, Onyx? We talking we talking fried chicken? Baked chicken parm, and <laughs> it's bussin'. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I'll take some chicken parm. Chicken, chicken parm, parm. That's what my. You know what? Wow, I just had like a flashback. That's what me and my friends used to say all the time. Chicken, chicken parm, parm. You want me to do another poll? Okay. Let's see. What can I do a poll about? Let's see. Um, let's see. What type of chi Oh yeah, okay, we'll ask that. We'll ask, we'll ask. What's your favorite type of chicken? Fried, baked. There you go. Pole is out. Switch sides because my neck was starting to hurt. Raw chicken. Yum. All right, we are cruising. Wow, we have 70 people watching. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. If you are joining the stream right now and you haven't seen one of these before, uh, go ahead and give it a like. And then also, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And uh, thank you for joining. 
Hope you're having a great day. Ooh, smoked chicken is good. That's some good stuff. I think I'm gonna go get, I think for dinner I'm gonna do a chicken enchilada. I, that, that's what I've been craving all day. With green sauce. Hey Sonia, how are you? so far uh, we're about halfway up the dragon so we have a few more to do you know what maybe I should test this out actually we're gonna use this yarn to test this out Kari's trying to get through the, uh, get around the, uh, the snail spam filter. There's not really any filter, but you know what I mean? One, two. Like this. So I'm basically sewing a little marker down on the back right here to see, to make sure that, to, to show where we're gonna be sewing on these spikes and that way we'll know how many spikes to make. This feels a little far away for a spike though. Thank you, Laya. Hope you're having a great day. That's where the spikes are going to be sewn on. So now we're going to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 spikes. That's how many spikes we need. We have got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 done. Cool. We're doing all right.
Is that a Nintendo Switch behind me? Right there? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Uh, what games do I like to play? Oh, Martin. My favorite game to play right now is a problem. It is Super Smash Brothers. I've been addicted to it since the game came out. Um, and, uh, yeah, I really need to chill out on the Super Smash Brothers world. I'm really, really good at it, though. Uh, but... Other than Super Smash Brothers, I'm really into Splatoon 3 right now. I really like that game. And uh, and I've just started playing the new Metroid game. Metroid, uh, what's it called? Uh, Metroid Prime Remastered is what I've been working on. What are your favorite games on the Switch? I'm a big fan of the Nintendo Switch, though. I'm like, really big fan. I've always been a big Nintendo dork. Um, when I was in elementary school, I had a big... My mom painted Nintendo on my bedroom wall because I was just such a big fan of it. And I kept that until high school because I was a really cool kid. <laughs> Do I play Minecraft? I have before, but I actually haven't played... Minecraft in a long time. Um, uh, I actually end up getting like really sleepy when I play Minecraft, and I, so I can't play that long. Um, but I do like Minecraft. I definitely like the idea of Minecraft a lot. I think Minecraft is a really cool game. That being said, uh, in Super Smash Brothers, I hate Steve, and I think it's a bad character. Uh, Kirby main, all right. Very cool, Martin. If you ever want to get your butt handed to you, uh, let me know. I, I would be happy to turn you into a little Kirby-sized egg and let you slowly float off into the distance. Um, I am a Yoshi main, by the way. Uh, and then Breath of the Wild, of course I play Breath of the Wild. That that game is the best. I actually, I beat it twice, but I really want to play it one more time before the new game comes out. And then, uh, someone else asked, oh, Fortnite. I do, I actually used to play Fortnite a pretty good amount. I stopped playing too much Fortnite because it ended up getting me, like, really upset. I'd get, like, grumpy all the time. <laughs> um, but... Jules and I really liked playing Fortnite. She was actually really good at Fortnite. And, um, hold on, there we go. Um, but we both kind of agreed, maybe we should stop playing uh, too much Fortnite because yeah, we would just get grumpy. One, two, three, four. Um, but yeah, I've, I've won a battle royale a few, like, a decent amount of times, actually. Um, other question someone asked. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh my gosh, Jimbo is yowling. He does this thing every now and then when, I think it's when he doesn't know where I'm at. Where he just starts going... But I don't think that's why he's doing it right now, but usually that's why he does it. Uh, okay, we need 14 of these. Oh, someone said, have I crocheted a, uh, uh, a Kirby before? Yes, I have crocheted Kirby before, and it's actually really cool. Uh, and I've been meaning to come out with a new pattern for it. Hi, bud. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two more of these. You're crocheting Korok? That's dope. Andrea plays, or Andrea plays Villager in Super Smash. That's one of my brother's favorite characters to play too. I like, I like Villager. It's a cool character. Okay, let me. I think that was 13, but it might have been 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One more. Ah, 
How long have I been on YouTube? Ooh, that's a that's a big question. Um, I started in, I think I started making my first channel, um, Louis Loops in high school, which would be like 15 years ago, maybe, maybe a little less. So I would say maybe like 12 years ago is when I started the Louis Loops channel. Um, and then the Club Crochet channel, I started about, I think about five or six years ago. So it's relatively recently for this, this channel. But I've been doing YouTube for a while now. How long have I been, I've been crocheting? I've been crocheting for well over 15 years. Um, I started in like, I think sophomore year of high school. So I was like 14 or 15 then. And then just got obsessed with it. I've been doing it ever since. And I am 31 now, so you can see it's been a while. Oh, Akari, I'm sorry, that's a bummer. Mickey Cricky, welcome to the chat. How you doing, Mickey? Hope you're having a good day. Missed ya. Thank you so much for helping me out on those emails. I actually have, I've been meaning to reply to you and I'm sorry I haven't replied yet, but I actually made something for you. So like to get more feedback and I'll email you after this. Mickey's giving me feedback on the new, um, the new product we're, we're launching soon. It's funny that I say we sometimes when I really just mean me. Me do be launching this. One, two. All right, let's sew this on. Wow, that is way too long of an end. We do not need this long of an end. Beep boop boop beep bop. Bop. One spike sewn on. Two. Two spikes sewn on. La. What? Okay, I just came up with a good, a good joke. I just came up with this. This is, I had never heard this before. I bet you it is a joke from somewhere, but this is, uh, I've never heard of it. What did the vampire say? Uh, what did the vampire say when he got his steak, uh, uh, cooked medium? He said, Ooh. Medium. I asked for rare. Blah. Actually, a, a vampire probably would ask for it raw. Bing, 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 boop, bop. So I'm babysitting kids tomorrow and this is gonna be the first time I've ever babysat before. I'm not too worried because they're, like the oldest is nine and the youngest is like five. So they're, you know, they're a little older. They're not babies. I know, right, bud? But, um, I want to, uh, I wanna be, you know, a good, a good babysitter any suggestions, any tips, tips, tricks? What should we do? I know they really like video games, so I was, I thought maybe we'll play some video games. Um, we're gonna do dinner. I figured kind of like maybe pizza for dinner, but I don't know. I think they're really excited to hang out with me, which is cool because I'm excited too. But yeah, any, any tips?
Yeah, maybe I should bring over. Oh, maybe I should bring over Lava Run or something. Maybe they would like to play that game. I'll bring it just in case. And then if they don't want to play it, that's totally cool too. Sunshine, look at that. Sunshine. Great minds think about bikes. That's what, that's the saying, right? Great minds think of bikes. Movies, video games. What kind of yarn am I using? I'm using, stop. You're not supposed to do that, dude. Hi, buddy. I know. Um, what kind of yarn? I'm using uh, Bernat's blanket weight yarn actually this time. So we're using a different kind of yarn today uh, rather than my cotton normal. Just because I want to make this guy gigantinormous. Gigantinormous. Jimbo is spinning my chair. Yeah, you? What? Hey, chill. You. Hey, stop it. Buddy. Buddy. No more of that. Hey, those spikes are coming together. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Ooh, baking cookies could be kind of fun. I'm really bad at that, but that kind of makes it more fun. Oh, we should totally make a blanket fort. Oh my God, that's a great idea. I love blanket forts. I actually make blanket forts all the time. I'm a big fan, a big blanket fort fan. Pillow forts are fine, whatever, but blanket forts are, blanket forts are the best. Oh, do we? We never ended that poll, did we? We should end that poll. Hey, stop. This is not a toy. And you can't, you're gonna hurt this couch. This couch is so cool and you're gonna hurt it. Don't hurt the couch. supposed to be a little further up. I'm gonna cut this because this is just way too long. Which is why Jimbo keeps fighting us. We could pretend we made cookies and then I could put them already pre-made in the oven. That'd be funny. The little one, Kara, is a firecracker too so it's going to be very interesting babysitting her she always wants to be do a piggyback ride and get thrown around and i'm like i'll do my best i got a bad back kara but it's really nice to know that they like me you know it's cool it's cool when when your nephews like you who would have thought? I guess technically they're like second cousins, but they seem like nieces and nephews. Reading a fun book, ugh, boring. <laughs> Just kidding, Laya. We're gonna eat ice cream for dinner and we're gonna play video games. I mean, if they're gonna hang out with me, they ain't gonna read a book. I 
I will bring my favorite book over though because I told uh, Landon that he would really like it. That's my that's my cousin's kid, the oldest. Oops. There's an arrow. This oh boy, we got a tangled mess starting to be created here. Almost done with our dragon. How do I keep the stitches so tight? I tried every hook and I got, you know, uh, that's called tension. And tension and gauge uh, are something that I always like to say, like they come with time. Um, you do It's something you gotta practice and, and be like aware of as you're crocheting. Uh, but I promise you, you will be getting better and better at that as you go. It gets easier and easier to keep that tension going and keep in control of it as you practice. But I, there are like some quick tips, uh, like using a larger crochet hook to make your stitches a little bit bigger if you're crocheting too tight and vice versa, using a smaller crochet hook to make your crochet stitches a little bit tighter. This up. There you go. There you go. All right, just a couple more here, and we'll be done with our dragon. Oh my gosh, are you excited? I'm super excited. And then we'll just take a little tiny just hangout break. And then we'll make something else from that I've been working on. A little baby dragon or something. I've got a baby dragon like halfway done that I've been waiting to finish. And I thought this is a perfect opportunity to get some of our work in progress things made. Okay, so this is going to go right here. And then the other side, and then we're done. Yeah! Yeah! What? I just got like super sleepy. We need some tea, buddy. Yeah. There we go. Hi, bud. Right at the end, huh? You just need to add just a little bit more difficulty right at the very end. Classic Jimbo, really. Yeah, huh? What? Hi. <laughs> Hi. was like this dragon isn't as cool as I am which is true it's true you're very cool okay hold on buddy hold on I just need to stuff this out step it on the wrong place <laughs> all right one sec just stuff these ends in and wait for it Man, this end really doesn't want to get stuffed in. There we go. Da 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 da. We finished it, bud. We did it. Look at how awesome this is. Oh wait, let's fix this wing a little bit. There we go. Hold on, buddy. We just finished. Hold on. Jeez. Hey, stop yelling. Fix these wings a little bit. Hold on. I might bend the wings in so it looks like he's a sleeping dragon in a little bit, but pretty awesome if you ask me. 
Oh my gosh, so cool, right? Yeah, wow. Thank you. Wow, you're so supportive. <laughs> Gigantic dragon. Look at how cool he's like as big as you is. He's like as big as you is. He's like a little you, hello. Hi, Jiminy. So needy. Let's see, so do we want to bend the wing so he's sleeping or? No, you want to keep him open? Come here. Come here, Jimbo. Buddy. <gasps> Jules! Hi, Jules! Jules is in the chat. You wanna say hi to Jules? No? Say hi. <laughs> I think the wings just need a little bit more like Posing. Not too bad though. Not too bad. They're just kind of hard to like control. Look. <laughs> oh, this wing needs to be curved more too. So we need to go up with it maybe and then down with it. And see that wire? Oh, hold on, buddy. Jeez Louise. I promise we're okay. Gosh. Gosh. Hi. <laughs> Would you knock it off, dude? Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. 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 Okay, bye. Oh, hi, we're not playing because we're in the middle of a live stream. I know you want to play. You always want to play. Always. Literally at all times you want to play. Here. Again, it's cute. You see you on video. Hi. Hi, Jules. Jules just probably is getting off work. Okay, yes, that's right. Akari wants a truth or dare. Oh my god, do you see all the cameras moving? Guess who's doing that? Stop. Chewing the cords. Stop. Hey. There we go. Oh, can I do a dare? Yes. Okay. Go on. We have a second to, to kill. Give me a dare, but make it good and don't... Don't goof up the stream, you know? Oh, by the way, here's the end of that poll that we were doing. Uh, most people like fried chicken, and that's, I think that's, uh, the right answer. Hi, bud. Oh my gosh. He is a little scallywag. Come here. Jesus. What are you doing? Are you eating my hand? No goofs.
Akari, you know I can't do that right now. You know I can't do that. That's a bad dare. I cannot crochet a snail right now. There's not enough time. <laughs> Thanks, Jules. <laughs> we miss you. We miss her. Yeah, huh? Oh my gosh. Is it, do you get that out of your system? Do you see that? I think there's a fly up here. It's not, it's a piece of fuzz. Uh, all right, yeah, you want a new poll for what is your favorite crochet project? Heck yeah, we can do that. Um, let's do what is... So I'm guessing you're saying like the types. I'm pretty sure I know what people are gonna say. Um, it's called mosaic crochet? What's that thing called? Um, Tunisian? Uh, blankets? Uh, uh, I will eat something during the stream in just a sec. Alright, here's a, here's just a quick poll just to, just to get your opinion on stuff. I'm pretty sure I know what the answer is going to be, but we'll see. I've got these little gummies here, though. I'm going to eat these. Uh, do you think Jules and I will ever get married? Heck yeah, we're engaged, so I hope so. She proposed to me. I still owe her a proposal though. Look how cool this dragon is. He doesn't stand up very well, but he looks great. Maybe I should put a wire through his arms, like another wire. But he sits up pretty good. I think I spelled mosaic wrong. Someone was talking about it earlier in the stream. Um, Onyx, I don't think it'll work. I don't think you can post links. Okay, Mr. Dragon. Mr. Jimbo. Oop. What's the next thing we want to crochet? I think we should crochet a mini dragon. Thank you, Ivy. We are very happy. We're very excited. Turn the brightness up a little bit. So we got a mini dragon. Bye, Jules. And yes, good luck at rehearsals. And I hope you had a nice day at work. I agree. I think a mini dragon is perfect. Out of thread. I mean, you won't be able to see anything I'm doing if I do it out of thread on with this camera. And then we've got the optional tiny snail that Akari wants us to make. We'll keep the, our dragon right there for right now. Let's give him like a little bit of a, yeah, there you go. So you can kind of get the idea of how giant. Also, let me show you. Just for, just for clarity of how gigantic this dragon is. This is the normal drag, like size dragon. I designed it using cotton worsted weight yarn. So you can see it's way bigger. <laughs> Huge mungo. Very scary, but also very cute. Okay. 
Here's my work in progress sis. Hold on, I gotta grab the other stuff. We need eyes. We need magnets. We need to stop headbutting the camera. Jimbo. Oh my gosh. How is he so noisy all the time? Apparently, apparently we've got to play with Jimbo soon too because he's been crazy. Okay, Laya has a dare. What's your dare, Laya? I reserve the right to refuse any dares. That's the new rule of truth or dares for for the live streams. Okay, so here's where I'm at so far with the baby dragon, by the way. You can see I'm like, I pretty much just have made the head, but it'll be done in just a second. Say bottle of water in British, with a British accent. All right, a bottle of water. You want a bottle of water? Yeah, we could go get a bottle of water. Why not? It's like two pounds, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm actually on... I think I'm actually on the last round or two of this, so we're pretty far along. Yeah, I could say a bottle of water. I could say that whenever I want to keep bottles in my boot. That means trunk for all you uneducated out there. That was bad, but still. Tuesday. It's an easy one. I could say Tuesday any day, yeah? <laughs> do you ever, can you do your best British accent, Jimbo? Are you just gonna eat, are you gonna, oh, what are you doing to the dragon? Jimbo is is showing dominance over this dragon right now. Oh, are you getting sleepy? Sleepy? Well, okay, this is great. Jimbo's falling asleep on the table, and that is great. One. Two, three, four, boop. And we got a foot made. Man, I'm flying. What are you guys working on, by the way? What's everybody making? Jimbo, what are you making? Muffins? He's always making muffins. You watched the tutorial on the bell? Belba? I don't know what that means. Um. Okay, I'll try to do that, Akari. Let's see. Mary had a little lamb. Chuck, chuck. Lamb no more lamb. Mary had a little lamb that his wool was red as blood. That was kind of, that was a weird one. Oh, the bell bag. Yes, yes, yes. That is really cool. 
You want me to do the count from Sesame Street? Uh. Okay. I mean, what do you say as the count from Sesame Street? One, two, three. Ha ha ha. Three. I don't know what I'm counting. Sonya's making a little hippo. A purple hippo? That's cute. I feel like hippos are supposed to be purple. But the saturation is really turned down on them, so they end up being gray, mostly. Mickey's making their temperature blanket for the year. What is the temperature you're working on right now? I'm guessing it's pretty cold, so like a blue? A, a, a light blue, maybe? I don't know. I can't remember where you're from, Mickey. Akari, why don't you crochet? Why, why can't you crochet right now? Lazabo's making a squid. Oh, that's cool. What? I'm I'm actually working on a um a new another squid pattern for a giant squid. That is a big goal of mine for the summer. I want to do a giant squid pattern. I gotta add the eyes. We gotta add the eyes. The eyes have it. Thirty-four degrees. That's a green. That's a green. I feel like green should be like, like. I don't know what color. What what? How how hot should it be for it to be green, Jimbo? Like, like fifty. At the lowest, I would assume. It's 35, it's 35 degrees like warm? It has gotten really cold then, Mickey. That's crazy. Oh, you got frostbite and your fingernail ripped off. That sucks. I lost my fingernail when I was in elementary school. And uh, I remember very well my... Um, it was Christmas. I had gotten Wario on the Game Boy. And my grandpa had a massage chair that I think it was actually like a foot massager or something. And I put my fingers in, in it by accident and it ripped my nail almost all the way off. And then I went, uh, I you know, I started screaming, obviously. My family was all there and my, uh, and they're like, look, they're, oh my God, oh my God, there's bleeding everywhere. My uncle comes up and he goes, uh, he goes, oh no. All right, uh, on the count of three. And I was like, wait, what? What are you doing on the count of three? And he's grabbing my finger and he goes, one. And I said, what are you doing on the count of three? Stop, what are you doing? And he said, two, and then he ripped it. He ripped my nail off on two. Apparently it had to be ripped off. I don't think it really did have to be ripped off, but he did it anyhow. And he didn't even do it on three. He didn't tell me what he was doing and he didn't, <laughs> and he just ripped it. And I'll never forget it. I was like, ah! And then for the rest of the night, I was like crying and playing Wario on the Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, one of those core memories of mine. Oh, Laya, thank you for subscribing. Whoa.
What? What episode was that, Mickey? Mickey said that there's an episode of SpongeBob where Squidward shreds his toenail on the couch? What? First off, Squidward has toenails? How? No. Wait, what? How could Squidward have toenails? Jimbo, how does Squidward have toenails? He's a squid. They haven't even got toes, let alone toenails. Hey, bud. Is that where you're gonna sit now? This works for me. That's good. Little dude's getting sleepy. No, I've never seen that episode. It's a traumatic episode to say the least. I bet you. That yeah, that seems like a crazy episode. One okay. Oh man, we might really power through all these uh work in progresses that I have here because we're already almost done with this baby dragon. I've got one of the wings here, so we'll sew these on. Hey, don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. Uh, we're trying to get to 250 likes. I'm not super optimistic, but the more likes this video gets, the higher chance that I'm going to say, eh, we're gonna do a giveaway anyhow, next live stream. So, like this video if you can, please. It would be very helpful. Also, um, next live stream, we're gonna be uh, doing it on Thursday next week at uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, that's gonna be the 16th. Wait, really? Is it really gonna be the 16th already? Oh my gosh, time is flying. And then uh, we'll be crocheting a treasure chest and we're gonna switch back to the light box system next week. And we'll be making a treasure chest. Uh, we'll do a treasure chest crochet along. So if you're not subscribed already, here is the shout out. Please subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss it when new videos come out and stuff like that. Samantha's back. Welcome back, Samantha. Ooh, I'm excited to go get some enchiladas after this. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you something. I'm hungry. Samantha, what are we working on right now? Right now, I am working on some works in progress that I made. By the way, Samantha, check it out. We finished the giant dragon. Look at how cool he is. He's huge. He's huge. I've definitely got to do some kind of like YouTube short or something after this to show off our giant dragon. I also think, I really think wire, an extra wire in the arm wouldn't hurt it. But, um, okay, where was I? I sewed on the, did I sew this wing on? No, I didn't.
<laughs> what did I do, Sonya? CJ, thanks for subscribing. I should do a short about the bottle of water thing. <laughs> All right, maybe. I don't know what's so weird about that. A bottle of water is pretty normal to me. In there. <laughs> Jules and I have this joke where every now and then we go like, we go, oh yeah, in there. Oh sh it's good, in there. We just start yelling in it at each other. Judah, how do we keep the wire from poking out? You know, it, it actually isn't working very well. Um, the wire does poke out every now and then on it, but the way I did it... Wait, hold on. Was I bent the edge around, which helped a lot. Dang it, I lost my magnets. Where'd they go? There they are. Ugh. That was a 30 year old grunt. I'm hungry. It's true, I'm hungry though. Straight up starving, you might say. My favorite thing to do, I really like doing a, a like, like a deep south Louisiana, like, like bayou kind of accent like this. It's one of my favorite accents to do. I like to pretend I ain't got no teeth. And I like to say weird things to this accent. It's just kind of fun. I don't know. It's a fun accent to do. What do you want from me? There ain't nothing I, should, I can do about it. It's, just, it's fun. That's all I'm saying. It's fun. Jimbo, you don't like this accent very much? Well, that's all right. You don't got to like it. I ain't doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. Oh, yes. Whoa. This vote got 61 votes. That's crazy. Okay. Amigurumi to the max. Next vote should be about food or yarn. All right, let's do one about food. Let's say, what should I get for, what should I get with my, uh, 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 I'm gonna get enchilada, how do you spell enchilada? That's not right. How do I spell enchilada? There we go. For, wait, what should I get with my enchilada for dinner? Uh, churro. Uh, 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 uh. A margarita. What else, what else could you, what else could I get with my enchilada? Um. a good idea here a cookie or or I don't know what's a good idea rice sure or rice. There you go. You gotta slap. I gotta slap my knee. Well, I can slap my knee. Well, shoot. Dang. Nabby, that does feel good. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you. <laughs> okay. Let's keep crocheting here, bud. We're almost done with 
our new baby dragon. Almost done with our baby dragon. We all know I'm getting a cookie either way. <laughs> Not if it says churro. I'll tell you what, I'm either gonna get a churro or a cookie regardless. That That is truth. That is the truth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Lene. <laughs> yep, the slap made it. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely where I'm getting that accent from, Hannah, is from Avatar. That's my one of my favorite episodes of all time. The Swamp. Oh, I love that episode. So good. I love that part, the part of that episode where there's like a screaming, there's like a bird that like screams and it's like, ah! Sorry, Jim, did I scare you? He's like mad eyeing me. Churro is always the correct answer. You hear that, bud? Always. Always. A little bit more stuffing is fine. Okay, add that to the bottom. Let's sew this baby dragon closed. I got a few more things that I can finish up today. Boxing recently. That's been my like uh, silly little thing that I do when I'm farting around. Oh, I could have done a. I was trying to think of what the word was. Horchata. Horchata. Si. And a horchata would be nice. But a margarita might be nicer. <laughs> Jules is a big fan of horchata. I'm actually not. I, I like it. It's fine, I guess. I always want it to be like more flavorful than it is, though. Oh, I should have put flan, flan on there. Dang, flan would have been good. I've never. I don't know if I've ever really had flan before. To be honest. Okay, we got our baby dragon. Pretty cute. Not gonna lie. This. By the way, this pattern's coming out uh, next week. Let next um. Next weekend. I think it's gonna come out next Saturday. If I can. It's already almost done. But I have a few little things that I want to do for it. So. But yeah, pattern's coming out soon. In the meantime, oops. In the meantime, let's go ahead and add this little baby. Actually, we'll add it to this shoulder. There we go. Pretty good. Okay, what's next? What do we got in here? Ah, here we go. Yes, we have an orc that's basically done. I just need to add a nickel and a... Did I think to him? Oh, you know what? Actually, here. Let's start by finishing... I have this goblin that's nearly finished. Like, look at him. He's, like, basically done. So let's go ahead and finish him. Next Saturday's your birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Uh, 
Brandy, I hope you have a great birthday. What's a... Mickey, did you just say what is a churro? Nani? You don't know what a churro is? Oh my god, churros are... Top three best desserts known to man. Yeah, I think that's a fair... I think that's a fair... Fair statement. They are basically like fried dough that's kind of like like shaped like a like if you were to take an asterisk and then stretch it out so it's like a long tube but it's like you know spiky or like you know pointy on each side it's not like spiky it's just like like kind of like a <laughs> kind of like a loofah i don't know but the it's fried and then dipped in sugar and cinnamon Oh, and sometimes they put cream on the inside. It's so good. Like a 10 out of 10 churro. Very, very, very highly suggested. Go get a churro. If you ever go to, to um, like Disneyland or, and stuff. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, my mouth is literally watering thinking about churros right now. Um, if you ever go to Disneyland, they have actually pretty good churros there. Honestly though, it's really hard to have a bad churro. They are so, like it, I mean, how do you, how do you mess up frying dough and then dipping it in sugar and cinnamon? Like, you can't, you can't goof that up. Highly recommended, go get a churro ASAP. Ooh, Cosmo, welcome to the stream. Did you finish the dragon? We sure did, one second, let me finish this last round on this goblin here and then I'll show it off to you. Look at this though. Almost done. Okay, that's pretty good. Dragon is Sefini. Magnifique, no? We? Oui? Gigantinormous. This little wire is annoying me because it's a little longer than the wing actually is, so I have to stretch out the wing sometimes to make it fit. But actually, that actually that worked really well. I'll just do that on this one too. I messed it up. The wire's like fully coming out now. I'm trying to fix the wire. I totally goofed it. There we go. Alright, I fixed it. No more wires. Perfect. Nice. He's so cool. So giant. Much giant, very wow. Here you go, Jimbo. Okay, I won't. I won't? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He does not want the dragon on him. What's an ench enchilada? An enchilada is, uh, an enchilada is like a burrito, but with, it, it's like a tortilla with cheese and chicken or, or just chicken or just cheese, cheese. And then there's cheese on top of it. And then it's baked 
and then they like drench it in in sauce. Yeah, and 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 melted cheese. It's so good. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm gonna eat the heck out of an enchilada soon. Man, I'm stoked. Should I order it there or should I pick it up and bring it home? Hmm. Is this goblin gonna be riding the dragon? I think so. I think he might have to. I think that's a cool idea. I like it. I like it. What is the longest live stream that we've done? I would say, I think we've done like a four or five hour live stream before. Uh, anybody, anybody know? We've done a long one though, like four, four or five hours I think. I'm looking for my spare nickels. Usually I have some spare nickels that I use to stuff the carrot my, my goblinoids with, but you can't find one. But I have a strong magnet, so we'll use that instead. Um, we'll just use these magnets. Magnets can be cool too, because it might make it easier for us to like make the goblin writing. Now what? What's wrong? Wait, no, that's just the brown. Put that here. This. We'll put this here. But where? Where did the goblin go? What did you do with it, Jimbo? Did you do something with it? What the heck? I can't find it. Where'd I put it? Oh, he's right here. You're right. You're right. You're right. Jimbo's so smart. Oh, yes. I do remember that Mickey Cricky. Long time ago on the Louis Loops channel, we did a really long Monster Monday. It was like five hours, I think. The Volcano Bag was really long, but it was split up into parts. I mean, if you want to go by at something like that, then like this video was really long, too. You know, because this was three hours per live stream. There was three live streams, so, so it was about... That dragon probably took us... Seven or eight hours, probably, total. But we also had Jimbo in the middle of it, like... Being very distracting, so... You know, it wasn't all crocheting. That's all good, Cosmo. What you been up to? Where are you at? Where you at now? Cosmo and Cosmo and their family always uh, are moving around, so he travels a lot. So it's always really cool to find out where Cosmo is. You should write a book called "Where in the World Is Cosmo." This is great. I've been really meaning to finish some of the projects in this little tub that I've been collecting. Yeah. What's up, bud? Are you in the mood to fight? Fight this goblin. Hey. 
Don't, don't like that. You don't want that. Come here. Yeah. Oh. Let's hang out with the chat for a little bit longer. And then we can go get enchiladas. How long have I had Jimbo and Phoebe? Uh, good question, Ivy. Uh, we got Jimbo in 2018, I think. He was, I think he was two or just barely two at the time. So how long ago was that? 2018? Wow, has it really been five years? I guess so. Like four or five years. That's kind of crazy though. Um, that's wild. So he's, and he's like, he must be like six or seven then. Uh, and then Phoebe, we got, um, just before the pandemic. So probably 2019. Like a year after Jimbo. And Jules really wants to get another one. And I'm like, maybe. Uh, Long Long says, have I ever tried making some tremendous patterns with small yarn or crochet super mini size with big, big yarn? I have done super mini ones with big, big yarn before. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Actually, oh no, you can't see it right now. Uh, and then, oh, that's cool. Uh, and then, um, it would be fun to do some gigantic patterns with small yarn though. Look, he's falling asleep. My arms, how cute is that? Uh, yeah. What other questions? Someone asked. Oh, Cosmo said that, that they are in Mexico right now. Way cool. I wanna go to Mexico. I wanna go to Chile really bad and I want to go to I would really like to go to South Korea I want to go to Seoul really bad I think those are my my places I'd like to visit next but Jules and I are gonna go back to Japan actually in um, September super excited about that So we're talking, people are talking about uh, medical stuff in the chat right now and uh, talking about medical bills for having a baby and stuff. And um, it's funny because Ivy, I guess Ivy and uh, uh, Akari have been, are live in, a, in the same kind of city. And Ivy said that, uh, Someone just had someone they know just had a baby in which and it was only like five thousand dollars or less. It should be straight up free. Should be free one hundred percent to have a baby. You're already having a baby. Should also I mean jeez. We're all getting scammed, I tell you. Cool, dude. If you can meet me in Japan, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm so excited. We're gonna go for like two th or two or three weeks, probably. Ivy wants to visit the top school in every state. That'd be pretty, or top zoo. I said top school, top zoo in every state. That'd be really cool. I think my favorite zoo is still the San Francisco Zoo. Um, just because I went there a lot and they had lemurs and I really like lemurs. Lemurs are probably, probably some of my favorite animals, maybe. I really like them. We'll be in Japan in, uh, around the end of September. Yep, birth should be free, 100%. I think... Yeah, well, we don't need to get into into that kind of jazz right now, but I do think that we are in a weird situation. Mickey Cricky, you're scared to fly? Oh, it's not scared. I mean, I you know I, I can't say that. 
fear is a different kind of, th you know, saying like, oh, it's not scary. It's like, well, you know, that's a matter of opinion, 100%. Um, but I would say that uh, it is way worth it if you can get over your fear of flight. Um, also, getting over your fear of flight in general is probably a really good move, uh, just so that you have options to see things that you probably never would be able to otherwise. Maybe, like, take a bunch of sleeping pills and just sleep your way through it. Or, 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 or go, or get some, or get therapy to, to help you get over it. That might help, too. I don't know. Man, a lot of people are scared of flying in the chat. That's crazy. Um, I, I, I get it, though. Flight, it can be really scary. I would say, though, that, that. That's definitely one of those fears that is way worth it if you can get over that because there's just so much you you miss out on by not flying. Um, I agree with uh, Cosmo though. I, I love flying personally. It's one of my favorite things to do for a lot of different reasons. First off, I love flying because uh, it's just awesome. You're in the air, like you're a human being in the air. Crazy. Um, but I also like flying because it's like the one time of your, the one of the few times where you're not expected to do anything but just sit there and be patient. And I really like that. There's something about that I really, I really like. What is my biggest fear or phobia? Ivy's is frogs or toads. Oh my God, really? I love frogs. The frogs are super cute. My biggest fear... I'm not afraid of nothing. No, I, I, let's see. Huh, maybe time. Time is a pretty big fear of mine. Just like going through life and opening up your eyes and realizing you're 31 years old and going, what happened? And I just know it's just gonna keep happening. That's scary to me. Um, losing Jimbo, Jimbo getting outside. Actually, that's probably the biggest fear of mine is Jimbo getting away and then getting hit by a car or something. That's scary. I don't like to think about that though. That's too scary. That's too scary. Um, yeah, I don't think I have too much of a fear of heights flying uh i have a fear oh you know what actually i have a really big irrational fear that i'll i'll fall and hit my head and my entire personality is gonna is will change and i'll suddenly be like really angry all the time or 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 really sad all the time or something you know that is a huge fear of mine that is a super, I mean, that's like so scary to think about. Just like the idea that you could bump your head and be a completely different person. Uh-uh, I don't like that at all. Um, long, long, if you want to be in a friendly, but what's the most complicated? Ooh, what is my most complicated pattern? The dragon is pretty complicated. I'm not gonna lie, um, but let's let's look at the let's look at the library real quick and let's find out. Let's see my the oh you know which one's really complicated but really short is the um, the skull. The skull is a crazy complicated pattern, but there's not that many stitches in it. It's like five six rounds total, but it's extremely complicated. Uh, the raptor is really complicated too. Uh, so is the um, the uh, the ankylosaurus. That's a relatively new one. That one's really complicated. Oh, the elf on the shelf is crazy complicated pattern. That one is insanely complicated. Hi, You're being very cute. Let's see what other ones are complicated. Dragon, yeah. Or maybe one of the ones with a lot of color changes. 
There's the... Well, big yawn is big. There's a Santa Claus pattern that I did uh, that is pretty complicated too. I think maybe the most complicated pattern on the website though, uh, even though it's not my pattern, is the um, last year's uh, pangolin pattern. Came out last year uh, and Sir Pearl Grey made it. And it is so complicated, like crazy complicated. All right. Back to the chat. Let's see. Hey, Lachlan. Oh, are you going? Are you going into? Are you gonna go lay on your bed? Yeah. I'm gonna switch the camera so you can see Jimbo laying on his bed. Go on. No, 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 don't move. No, don't move. There you go. Wanna say hi? There you go. Adorable. A little bit bigger of a screen here. Look at this good boy. What a good boy. What are you looking at? He's looking for something. You never know. You never know with him. Oh, anatomical heart and Gulliver. Oh my God, you're totally right, Cooper. Gulliver is a crazy complicated pattern. Mickey, the earth pattern isn't the hardest. It's easy, you're crazy. Good to know that you think that though. Do I play Animal Crossing? I used to a lot when it first came out in 2020, um, but uh, I kind of stopped and then Jules got really into it. Uh, oh, Five Worlds Explorer, that's really that's really cool. I, I'm, I'm actually working on an elephant pattern myself right now, so. Yeah, I, and honestly, right now, I already have my collaboration set for that, and I don't, I honestly, I don't think I have time. Um, but maybe next year. Okay, I think we're gonna call it uh, in just a second too, guys. Uh, Millie says we should do more dinosaur patterns. We have a lot. I think there's nine dinosaur patterns already, but I do agree, like, they're, they're really fun ones, and, and I'm sure we'll be doing more very soon. Within a year, we'll be doing more dino patterns for sure. Uh, they're some of my favorite ones to do. Oh, thanks, Jessica. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, guys. I think we're gonna get rock and roll and I'm gonna go uh, get some. We should do a cat pattern, Karen. That That is something I need to do. Um, and an axolotl would be really cool too. Um, I'm gonna go and get some enchiladas. I'm very excited with, what am I getting my enchilada with? We're gonna end this poll and find out. Churros. Wow, Cookie only got 8%. You guys are, y'all are crazy. Thank you for everybody that voted for the margarita though. Because, uh, that'd be dope. Maybe I'll get both. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining. I hope you guys had a great day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the chill live streams for the past few streams. Next week, next Thursday, the, um, what did I say, the 16th? Yeah, wait, is it the 16th or 15th? No, the 16th of March, uh, 3 p.m., we're gonna be crocheting a, uh, a, a treasure chest, and we'll probably make it into a mimic or something, I don't really know yet. 
But I'll see you guys then. Uh, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, push notifications, all of that fun stuff. You guys made my night. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thanks so much for everybody joining on a Wednesday. I know it was a weird day, so I really appreciate that. Pasta la pizza, happy hooking, and... Uh, oh my god. No, you hang up first. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Oh my god, you're so bad. Yeah, watch Jimbo clean his armpits while you, uh, while you enjoy the rest of your night. We'll zoom in here. Give you the best view of Jimbo possible. Wow, what a cat. I don't know if I want to end it, Samantha. Uh, you gotta hang up first. <laughs> I'm just enjoying watching my cat. <laughs> Thanks for joining everybody. Okay, bye.